Please answer. Please be all right. God, I should have never allowed you kids out. This wasn't supposed to happen. Carla, we need to move the kids. Borders are the only thing protecting them now. Yes, I know. We have to split them up. The youngest will be sent first. Avengers of the Night is the closest pack, so we'll send most of the students there. We need to contact Duncan still- We got a hold of him. He is alerting Layla and her pack. The Moonlit Melody should be in the area as soon as possible. And Grant? Nothing yet. He is still relocating the Bloodbounds. As I thought. I can't believe the school's gone. I know. It happened so fast. So many lives were lost. Young lives, too. The Hunters are stronger than we anticipated. That's because they attacked children. Unprepared, innocent children. Why, though? To provoke the packs to start a full-fledged war between the hunters and wolves until there's none of us left. Can the packs even handle that right now? Who knows? My feet hurt. I know. We're done walking for today, and tomorrow shouldn't be a long trip. Just two more miles according to the GPS. Which sucks. It's what we have to do. We have to get Kara, Bay, and Heidi before it's too late. No one happens to have any marshmallows, huh? <laughs> Afraid not, sweetheart. Do you honestly think we can save them? I mean... How are we even going to get into the building and rescue them? I wouldn't suggest knocking on the door and pretend to be selling Girl Scout cookies. You don't say! Seriously, Ryder! I've been thinking about that. Our best bet would be to send in Ryder, Isaac, and myself in. Isaac, you can control the minds, and with Ryder influencing the emotions, you could easily can control the hunters to do as you ask. I'll simply be there to make sure none of them break your trance. Easier said than done. And what about the rest of us? It's risky enough to have three of you all in there. Isaac's mind control isn't that strong in the first place. That's why we should all be in there helping. We'll have to be back up, wait outside, and try to keep in touch. I have a bit of influence on spirits, so if the situation gets bad, I can try to tap into them. Jenna can keep us all in contact through Nick. I'm guessing you two can hear each other's thoughts. And Jenna? You can even try to send thoughts to Bay and Kara since you're closest to them. Some sort of warning that we're coming to help them shortly? If I'm close enough, I should be able to reach Bay for sure. And me and Livia? Extra support? Well, we could do something- Stand guard, watch our backs, keep an eye out. Can we just take a break from all this? I'm exhausted. I agree with the little Alpha. Bedtime seems ideal right now. I think it'd be smart for all of us to head to bed, and then get up to plan everything, save our friends, and head back to school before it's dark. If only it was as easy as you make it sound. <laughs> we'll do it. Good night, guys. Uh, I'm not the only one that is scared, right? I'm scared, too. We could lose them. Don't say that! It's a possibility, though! I'm going to bed. He can't take any of this seriously. He just thinks Bay is gonna jump into his arms and be fine. I think he's a lot more upset than he seems. 
If it was just Kara and Heidi in there, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't be here right now. I uh, think he might surprise you. He's, um, he's just afraid to show emotion. All guys are. <laughs> and here I am, crying. <laughs> we'll save them. We better. I'm gonna get some rest. See you guys in the morning. Aren't you going to sleep? Not now. Maybe not even tonight. I just can't sleep. All I see is her and everything that is happening. I dream of her dying and, and me being alone. You'll never be alone. Bay is all I have left. Kara's the only person who seems to understand me besides her. Those two mean the world to me, and they could be taken away from me in a flash. They almost are. I feel useless, and I can't help but think that I'll have no one. I mean, it's selfish, but I mean, if I lose them, I won't be able to forget. I won't be able to cope. And I mean, I hear her thoughts and glimpses from time to time, and we're so close to her. So close, yet too far to do anything. And in these moments when I'm supposed to be sleeping, she's dying. Kara's being tortured and I'm fine. They probably hate me. And who knows, maybe they'll never want to see me again if we do rescue them. It's my fault Bay got shot. It's my fault. You need to stop worrying, Jenna. This isn't your fault, and even if we can't save them, you'll have me. We will, though. We will save them, and they'll be back with you again. Uh, you, you, uh, you can't just kiss me. I. I, I, I I'm sorry. I, I won't do it again if didn't you. Didn't say anything about you not kissing me again, though. <laughs> I, I'm just a little surprised that you even. You like me. Is it that much of a shock? A little. <laughs> <laughs> you should, um, you should try to get some sleep, though. I guess. Do you hear that? It's someone's thoughts. But not from anyone in our group. Someone's coming!